Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the response of second order system for different different inputs. How the response we will get if different different inputs is given to the second order system. So before to discuss the different different inputs, first we will discuss for the just we take the input as impulse. First we will consider first we will consider impulse as input impulse as input so what is input is means we can take r of t references we can take del of t is the impulse function so by applying the laplace transform the input will become one so for second order system for second order system what is transfer function transfer function equal to c of s by r of s equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s omega n square so what is our intention we have to give r of s input and give to the some system we need to find out the c of s is our intention we need to find c of s from this what is c of s control output i can write like this transfer function into input transfer function into input so from this what is transfer function omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square into input what is input laplace transform of input is one here so directly we are getting only this value finally we will get the output control output c of s equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this is the output only so this is the output function so by looking at this it look like a again it mixed with number of different unknowns so s is you know we will find out the s but omega n is the natural frequency zeta is also a different a unknown term and we need to find out that so we have to remember one thing here it is not possible without having zeta values because zeta is in a very important factor so it is not possible without it is not possible to analyze analyze the above title analyze the above system without damping ratio so we, if we don't have damping ratio we cannot analyze the system we cannot discuss about the system because if there is no zeta, zeta means we doesn't get the pulse so that's why we have to introduce some zeta values assume some zeta values by that we will analyze the output so for that purpose here just assume take case 1 or a take it a or if zeta value is the zero for example then what happened zeta value is zero then the output will become like this so zeta value become zero means this term complete will become zero then the remaining out, output equal c of s equal to omega n square by s square plus omega n square omega n square by s square plus omega n square from this so this is the output thing from this we can write the characteristic equation from this we can write the characteristic equation what is characteristic equation here the denominator is the 
characteristic equation from this s square plus omega n squared is equals to 0 from this we can find out s value is plus or minus j omega n s value is plus or minus j omega n what it represents s equal plus or minus j omega n means so it represents so s plane in this one side is one one pole is plus j omega n and another pole is minus j omega n we have the two poles here so whenever two poles is lies on the imaginary axis that system can be we can represent the system is marginally stable we can name it better to write here whenever the poles if the poles lies on the imaginary axis lies on the imaginary axis like in this case like this case then how the system behaves system is marginally stable marginally stable marginally stable it has some oscillation it has a sustained oscillations which it is we are discussing about the output of the system it has some oscillations the output can be behaves like this for this condition so I can write like this if you apply for the second order system when there is no damping ratio the output is output shape will be C of T time domain output value is is having some oscillations like this so these are the oscillations we will get these oscillations sustained oscillations we will get that okay so finally if you are giving impulse input we will get this type of output this type of output so for this for the second order system so this is this is for the second order system if we apply impulse impulse input then the output is the output shape is like this the shape is we will get the some sustained oscillations like that it will be increases right if the input is ramp ramp input then the output waveform is it will follow the ramp this is also having the sustained oscillations but it follows the ramp signal okay if the input is oh this is for actual impulse better to write here impulse and uh, it is for ramp signal and it is for unit step signal if for unit step signal the it behaves like this it's like this yes if it is a parabola if the input is the parabola then it will follow the parabola like this it will follow the parabola like this yeah so whenever if you giving so it's, it's it's same as the sinusoidal waveform don't forget it is a sinusoidal waveform follow between some limits okay if impulse is there it look like this if the ramp is there sinusoidal will follow the ramp signal step is there it will follow the step signal if the parabola is there it will follow the parabola signals so if we are if you are applying any input for the second order system don't forget here the condition is damping ratio is zero condition this is for only damping ratio is zero condition if the damping ratio is zero it will follow these waveforms if the damping ratio we we'll introduce we will discuss how it behaves okay this is for the response of second order system 
for damping ratio is g damping ratio is zero okay i hope all of you understand this session and this is only second order system for zeta equal zero okay thank you